Hey everyone, Mar here, and I am back with a Lego review. This is for general audiences and collectors and adults wanting to see before purchasing. And I found this at my Lego store. I have not seen it anywhere else except for on Lego.com online and on Lego online store. So I don't know if this is an exclusive to the Lego store or not. But this is a new seasonal, uh, let me see, I don't see a, I believe they believe online they call it the Easter Bunny House. And it comes with 57 pieces. It is ready to be gifted. It comes even with a little gift tag here that you can put to who, to who it's from, to, to who it's for and who it's from. It's in sh shape of this little box. And let me see, it does have a, let's see, does it have a set number? Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking that maybe this number 853990 is maybe the set number. I am gonna have to go and look, go back to lego.com to see. And if that is the number, I will pro I will put it in. It will be in the title, or in, in or in the description below. But we're gonna open this up and see what's inside. Because well, we know what's inside, but we're gonna see how it's put. We're gonna put together this Easter Bunny girl, and they got it like a hen house and a scooter. Let me see. Okay, here we go. We're gonna open it from the bottom. So this would be, it is, it's got age six and up on it. So this, and this would be awesome for any Lego collector for an Easter gift. I know it's early to be thinking about it, but I found it. And here we go. We have one bag of parts and then that can close back up. So if you want to keep it. And then we also have our instruction. Okay, so I, I was right on the bottom. 853990 is the set number. Um, I paid $7.99 for this at my lo at Lego at, at the in store, at the Lego store. They actually had just gotten them in today. Or yesterday, right? Let's see. They got them on Valentine's Day. So yesterday. So this, this should be going up the day after. It's today for me, but this will be going up on the 15th. So here's our instructions. So it's a sheet this time folded up, not a booklet, which works. So we're gonna, oh, tilt in the camera here. Watch all the little parts. I didn't cut it all the way. Oh, at least they're coming out. Wow, lots of little parts. All right, let's check out our mini. Whoop. I don't want to lose any of the little figures. Let's check out our mini figure. Whoop. All right, just one face print on this mini figure. Oh, I like the bunny ears. Now, wait a minute. Yep, only one. Huh. Okay, she does. It's hard to, hopefully the camera is picking up. I don't know if you can see it on my camera or not. She does have some whiskers, some little white whiskers, and her teeth are looking, the face print is, I don't know if you can tell in the detail, if it's close enough to tell, but it makes it look like she has two buck teeth, like a rabbit. She does have lash, lash eyelashes, some pink lip on the print, on the face print, we have a light, we have a um, a bunny tail on the back of the jacket print, just plain white legs, white gloves, this mint, I think it's a mint color, mint, light mint green maybe, or light blue. Bluish green. 
You got a pink bow and some buttons, kind of make it look like maybe a suit jacket, kind of. Okay, so that's our bunny girl, our Easter bunny girl. Here is the chicken that comes with it. I like the chicken. And then I am going to pause and get it put together. And by the... Which won't be no time for y'all, but I'll be right back. Okay, we are all put together. There's a carrot for the a bunny to hold. The bunny girl here. Just the normal standard carrot. I must say, I really love this scooter. You have like an, it's like an egg. Um, an, oh, a cracked egg or whatever for the headlight. It's in this nice blue color, light blue. I'm not sure if what the actual, if what Lego's color name for it is. We've got some eggs we're on that we can take off. Which is cool. So we've collected some eggs, I guess for the Easter Bunny Go Paint. It has like a kickstand and it moves so that you can can have it like so to help it to stand for display but if anyone wanted to play or so, it will you can push it along but I find that if you it's able to go up back up like that and then it really really you can really roll it along good that way but I like that you have a feature to make it stand on its own and then if you did want to you can you can put the bunny on the scooter yeah stand up bunny okay now we have a little bit of like grass but I'm guessing it's supposed to be like grass vegetation of some sort gra grass and then the hen house I really like it's really cute you've got like you got little stairs you've got place to put your hen and then if you turn it around there's a little door and you open it up and it's where you collect oh there it goes rolling you can collect your eggs so this is be where you collect the eggs. So I think that's kind of cool. And I must say, this is the first Lego set that I have gotten that there was no extra pieces. I used every single piece. But as long as every piece that you need's in there, that's what matters. So this is a very good set for... As far as I know, these two pieces are the same. Oops, sorry, get down here. We can't the handle where the handlebars and the kickstand are exact same pieces. So I don't think I think I have them on the right one. I don't really think it matters. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of this set is. Um, mostly pros for me. It's pretty simple build. Um, once I figured out looking at the instructions, I figured out what I was doing wrong too, but I managed to, it was just a little complicated for me, but it's been a long day and that may be part of it. I'm tired, but I really wanted to get this put together and show you so you, I could get this up for you guys. But I had a little difficulty and then I figured out and it's like, you know what, once I figured the, fir the first one out, I was good to go. So pros, great Easter gift for those who like Legos. Uh, this could be a good starter set for someone. Um, great Easter basket. Cons, none that I know of. None that I can think of. I don't really have any cons. Uh, I think $7.99 is a decent price for this for 57 pieces, especially because of the, of the scooter bike piece. You've got the chicken. You got the minifigure. So, uh, about the only thing I would have, oh, if I get it down here, sorry guys. I mean, there we go. 
I fixed a camera. I think maybe the only thing on the figure I would have wished for is a piece for that was there would actually be a tail piece. Kind of like when they have the cat, the, the cat tails for some of the figures, um, characters. And I, uh, I know what I'm thinking of. The, uh, if you watched my videos of any of the, uh, Disney minifigure openings and reviews, the duck, the Donald, uh, Scrooge McDuck and the nephews had an actual piece to, it was plastic piece. And I would have liked to see something like that for the bunny, but I understand that it's easier to do the print on. And it is a simple set, but a very cool, neat set for collectors. I, I like it. I'm very happy with my purchase. If you like this review, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if there's any set Lego sets you would like to see me review. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. I will put those below in the description. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and then click the notification bell. That'll be the fastest way to know when we have new videos up. If it's not a general audience video, we always put up on, if you are 13 and older, on Facebook and Twitter for sure. And eventually we'll get to the other social medias, but we always get posts when we have new videos up on Facebook and Twitter. So let me know what you think of this Lego set. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you check out the rest of our channel. Till next time. Bye, guys.